Miguel Brienza. So, uh, Brito OBA is one of the most active OBAs around. And it has been making a lot of efforts. Be relaxed, cool. So, so uh, my, Miguel, you have been active for a long time on it. Tell us how you see the history of it. When did it start with GAPS? Yeah. The OBA, the Old Boys Association, was actually started in 1966. That time, Professor Frank Antaung was a young man and he was the president for the first four terms. Dempe College Geology. Uh, De Dempe College Geology, exactly, the professor later on. Mm -hmm. uh, he was from uh, here on the Mapsa and uh, he... Africa added, boy? Yes. Africa boy? No, local only. Uh, and along with him was uh, Edmund Morris, who was a young teacher in uh, Britos, wow. who used to lead the Britos Old Boys uh, hockey team. I see. And they had a very good hockey team. He was a good hockey player. Yeah. <coughs> so with all this, there were a lot of activities. They used to organize whist tribes, which were popular in, at that point of time. With St. Mary's? No. With St. Mary's also. The girls' school. Uh, yeah, because his uh, wife, uh, Ramoda Antaung, later on Nadia Braganza, was a St. Mary's girl. And uh, together they would organize activities. They would organize also the dance. At Mapsa? Uh, at, at Mapsa, when the Sirsat building first started, the dances were there. When Sirsat uh, was built? Built. Earlier, they used to have the dance in Casabella. Casabella. Uh, Casabella was not a big place, but they used to have it there. Uh, Father Mireles was here uh, in the later years when they were having the dance as the principal. And. Mid 70s. Uh, mid 70s. And it was a very active group, both in sports as well as in social activities. Then in 1975, after the. Uh, I That's think Donald Sequera was also there. I remember him going up and we, we were pointing and Donald, saying old Donald boys, old Sequera boys. was there. Ivan Rocha was uh, very see. active towards the end. And then again in 1996 when they tried to revive, Ivan Rocha was there. Uh, along with uh, Eric Benezis. Yeah. And, From uh, CMM. CMM. And uh, Joe Mascarenhas at the time for the Golden Jubilee uh, yeah. Committee. He was the secretary. Yeah. So they tried to revive it. Uh, Father Hector Almeida was here trying to revive Hector. it. It didn't quite work. No, that is a given, no, Miguel, because there are ups yes. and downs. But in 2005, uh, Father Cecil was here, who was a Brito boy from 72 Se to 75 here, the new course. He and Father Cedric, two brothers, twins. even twins. then were known as Padri Bao. Twins. They were on their way to priesthood? Uh, no, they were not into priesthood, but they used to wear uh, off-white raincoats, which was similar to the... Cassocks. Cassock of Father Vivian. Father Vivian is to wear an off white off cassock. Off white, so, I remember that. <coughs> cream, cream off white. So, so they got the name Padri Bao. It was duckback raincoat, I think, so at that time, it was off white. So they got the name Padri Bao, and Padris they did become. It became a full self fulfilling prophecy. But, but Father Cecil set in 2005 with all the living certificate counterfoils in the school. I see. And from 1946, the first batch which passed out. Under Jesuit management, but as secretary, 46, 47 was as secretary, and 48 was at St. Brito High School under the Jesuits. Till 2004, he got all the records of those who had passed out from the living certificate. So, what the list we are touting is his work. That's this what you're saying. That's uh, what what is there in the Brito's retro is also is his, his work. work. The same list. Yeah. The same list. So, uh, very hard work that he did. He also found some of the addresses of people who are still there and uh, even old phone numbers and contacted and through them built up more people. Then finally in June of 2006, he called for a meeting of ex-students whose children were in Britos. That is the 50th year of the school, I think. <laughs> that was the 60th year. 60th. 46, 2006. 46 yeah. to 2006. 50th year was 1996. Okay, when okay, okay. Year. And 2006, uh, we had a Thanksgiving Mass on the 31st of July, uh, on, on the Feast of Ignatius Loyola, which was held in at the, Mapsa Church. At Mapsa I Church. I have photos of that. Uh, where many of the ex-teachers, uh, priests who have served over here... Madam, and Father Katam and a lot of them. Father Katam and a lot of them. Madam, all Madam. Them. Yeah, Madam was also there. And uh, many other uh, teachers who were alive around in Goa, they came. And with that upswell, we decided to have a general body meeting to form the Britos OBA, which was done on the 13th of August 2006. The first
first task that we took up was a very difficult task of raising money to redo the ground, which was estimated then at 32 lakhs. A lot of money. A lot of money. We knew we would not be able to raise that much. So we contacted uh, architect uh, Tulio, uh, then uh, engineer Ralin and others who knew a little bit about how we can cut costs. Which Ralin? Uh, Ralin Sikera, Alito's brother. Alito's brother. Yeah who had studied here two years when they were in Mapsa and then later on he okay. passed out from Lyceum. Okay. But he had that uh, sense okay. of belonging and attachment to the school. So he helped and we finally designed it in such a way instead of doing all cutting to do half cutting and half filling and we were able to execute that project. And you made a beautiful set yeah. of steps also, no? With, with the half cutting? <laughs> with the half cutting? <laughs> with the half cutting, we used the materials then we had balanced rubble. Yeah. So with that, we spoke to Dilip and Dr. Pramod Salvankar of Genos through Krishna Savant, who was also working for Genos then, yeah. next student. And we got them to sponsor the stadium steps, the spectator stand. But you know, it still bears their name. Looks good, uh, looks good. Part of the thing was, uh, which was told to us by Tulio was to create a gutter to take the water which drains out from the building onto the ground. Otherwise it can collapse in the rain. Uh, uh, otherwise the retaining wall which has collapsed this year would have retained, uh, would have gone years back. I see. So this gutter takes out the major part of the water out from the ground. But the ground itself is one and a half acre, 6,000 square meters and that's when you get four inches of rain, it's a wow. lot of water to drain wow. out. Wow. And that's how the retaining wall has partly collapsed. This year, yeah, unfortunately. This year. So we did the ground, the major ground, 90 meters by 70 meters we did. And we also later on got uh, people to sponsor the wire mesh around it so that the ball does not go into the buildings adjoining, which have come up. Earlier it was an open area. And the ball doesn't reach Mapsa town, also down near Maruti <laughs> temple. Like a beach yeah. reached years back. Yeah. Please, please. Earlier, when we were students, the ball used to go. They used to go right down to Maruti see. temple and really? bring the ball back. Really? Yes. It was uh, just an uh, open slope that time. Yeah. So now buildings have come up over there, so that they don't have problems of breaking the neighbor's windows and the balls going in yeah. to the garden and such things. So the raising is there for the whole length. Unfortunately, we have only about 325 members after 16 years of uh, operating. There but are, once you touch critical mass, then it will, you know, I think it will burst. There are many Brito boys who are here in Goa and there are some who are in India and some who are abroad, in, maybe in Kuwait or in the UAE, who come down quite often and they need to be. So what's your point? Why should they be members paying the 2,000 rupees for life? Tell because, me. because they normally come down in July when we have the weekend recharge, especially designed in July, August, so that these people who come down for a short vacation of summer there can also have an activity. But it's also a way yeah. of giving back. A way of giving back to all. What we have done is we have taken all the membership fees which were initially used to do the playground. We have recovered it from the first four dances. I see. Uh, the net income. Uh, December uh, dance. Uh, December dance. And we have put amount equal to the membership fees wow. into a fixed deposit from where the interest subsidizes the activity including uh, today's get together yeah. subsidized from the interest thereof. Right. So, also for the weekend recharge, we can pay up to 50%. If there are more people coming, maybe 30% we have given some years. But last two years, because of COVID, there has been no weekend recharge. So, we have surplus amount. We can give the 50% very easily this year. Uh, but the point is also, it's a good way to give back <coughs> to an institution yeah. which helped to build so many people in that sense. And which uh, is a community yeah. asset. Uh, basically, we have made three promises to ourselves. One is that the money that we raised from the dance after 2010 will not be used for any activity for the members. Yeah. That, for that, capital expenditure okay, only, yeah. not... not, not uh, so that money go, goes for community service, whether it's organizing inter-school tournaments or inter-school quiz or... Funding, uh, funding, a part, funding a part, also, yes. a part of this? Uh, not, 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 this. not a part of this ground, but... Uh, no, no, the, the building, yeah. this primary, no. Yes, part of the building also we have funded. Yeah for the new primary school. The repair of the roof which was leaking above the principal's office that has been done. When an extra division was added in Britos in 2010-11, extra division, the C division was added. Then we have sponsored the benches, desk and benches in the uh, new classrooms made from the old boarding. 
on on the third floor. Old boarding. Floor. So, yeah, old boarding has been converted into classrooms. So we funded that. We yeah. also also got people to sponsor water filters and such things. I see. So the students have a better service. Yeah. Uh, we have the annual quiz competition inter school where the participants are even served lunch because by the time it ends it's one one thirty so they are even yeah. served lunch over here for the football tournament same thing we serve the lunch also which is sponsored it's been hard work but it's a very valuable yes. contribution and overall this contribution is being appreciated uh, by people like our ex president uh, Rock Carvalho sponsors the entire expenditure on the quiz competition. I see. And the entire expenditure on the football tournament I is see. sponsored by Dr. Sagar uh, Salgokar, also an ex-student and topper of the school. I see. Uh, from his company. I see. And uh, if you uh, want to have a hockey tournament, also we have a ex-student who is willing to sponsor that. Hari, let's uh, do it here yeah, because uh, there's a uh, hockey we, group. Uh, we, we are talking about that, how we can work on it. Hockey and, group is active. And, and whether we can do it maybe on the paddock grounds, which has astro turf. Yeah. And Maybe some schools don't have the kit to play on AstroTurf and the debt also can be sponsored. Uh, money today is easier to get than time. Early, early, earlier uh, there was plenty of time, plenty of volunteers but there was no money. But today the situation is reverse. Even with the British OBA we have the money but uh, getting active members has become difficult. Fortunately, in the last two years, we have been able to do a generation shift in the managing committee. So it's younger people, average age, 30? Uh, 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 yeah, today below 30, our, our president, vice president, uh, treasurer... You have stepped out, you yeah, have deliberately yeah. stepped out. You have stepped, you have stepped out but on the... Yeah, uh, we have stepped inviting. out but, but uh, we mentor, I am there as a co-opted yeah. member now. Uh, for some years there have been issues and uh, we look at maintaining... Ours also is a registered society. So, so you have we, to we have maintain, maintain the accounts and all yeah, those things. Meetings and, and we have to fulfill the, <coughs> the general board meeting and such things have to be held. Yeah. <coughs> I made you speak too much. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Thanks. Anything yeah, else yeah, that yeah. you needed to mention? Yeah, we look forward to more students, ex-students coming in. We, we are in contact with them through email and there is the Facebook pages, uh, Brito's OBA, Brito's Old Boys Association and Brito's Men in Blues, the three Facebook three pages, Facebook pages. Uh, groups where you can join in. And also we have a Gmail group, Brito's OBA at Gmail uh, groups, we have, yeah, where any, anyone can join in who is a Brito boy. Just has to tell which year. Also, he, anyone yeah. who's a Jesuit alumni can become an as, as associate member. Yes, anybody who has studied in any Jesuit school or college anywhere in the world can be an associate member. Associate member is on par with the member, except that he cannot be part of the managing committee, hmm. which is exclusively for the yeah. students of Britain. But they have all the facilities which a normal member has. And for the students who have passed out from Britain in the recent years, Seven years from SSC, we take only a one-time payment of 200 for all the seven years or part thereof that you want till you graduate or till you are employed. I see. So just for 200 rupees you can be a member and if you attend a dance, it's two tickets which is a thousand rupees. If you attend a weekend recharge with a sibling, it, it often is 6,000 or 7,000 rupees that you get a, at a discount on an investment of 200 rupees. <laughs> So great value for money, yeah, but also great yeah, way of giving back. Yeah. So we look forward to the younger uh, students joining in because that is where the energy is. Enthusiasm and energy is there with the youngsters. And we are looking at these 16 to 25 year olds to be coming in. Thank you yeah. so much, Miguel. Yeah. I think you've been